On Saturday, Nepal suffered from a huge earthquake, 7.8 magnitude, which has caused extensive damage in Kathmandu, um, the the capital, but also obviously the the, the rural areas out, outside of Kathmandu. Um, at the moment, somewhere in the region of 4,500 people are known to have died and tenfold have, have, have been injured or are, and homeless and, and, and affected by this dreadful disaster. MSF was not working in Nepal prior to the earthquake, but we do have teams very close by in India who were immediately mobilized and crossed the border from India to Nepal yesterday. We've also been flying um, medical staff into Nepal. That's been difficult because the airport was damaged by the earthquake, but we're slowly managing to build up our, our numbers and we are um, prioritizing the areas outside of Kathmandu because in Kathmandu itself, the government and other aid agencies are um, well equipped to respond. But it is really the rural areas which are very difficult to access, very remote, very mountainous terrain. And at the moment where there's a very unclear picture of the extent of damage and casualties. So that is our priority to assess and to start to um, to medically work in as soon as possible. So in the aftermath of an earthquake, the, the most significant medical issue will be crush syndrome. So it's people that literally have been buried under falling buildings um, and, and have had limbs crushed. Unfortunately, um, that can be a, a life-threatening condition, obviously, and, and, and will often have to result in an amputation. So as well as sending staff, MSF is sending in um, a field inflatable hospital. That's um, a 56-bed facility, which we can um, erect on any sort of form of open space. It can be erected within 72 hours, and that's, and, and that's accompanied by a lot of surgical equipment and material, which enables us to rapidly mobilize our surgical capacity and to start to help the Ministry of Health to deal with um, victims of the earthquake, most notably those that have been um, trapped and, and crushed under falling buildings. Many of the medical facilities have experienced some destruction. People are living in, um, in unhygienic conditions, and the longer that goes on for, the more we could start to expect um, outbreaks of, of infectious disease related to poor sanitation and overcrowding. We already have significant relief items, supplies of relief items on their way. These include shelter kits, hygiene kits, kitchen kits, all the kind of equipment that, that people need in order to be able to look after themselves. MSF isn't taking earmarked donations for Nepal. The reason for that is that we put a very strong emphasis on unrestricted funding. That's, that's, that's general donations. Um, it is general donations that enable us to mobilize very rapidly in the event of an emergency, such as an earthquake in Nepal or such as an Ebola, Ebola outbreak in West Africa. So we, um, I, would, I would like to ask anybody who's considering to support us to um, consider to make a general donation, which enables us to be responsive, reactive, not only to this emergency, but to, to future disasters.